Watch out, Smokey. Good morning time. <clears throat> Damn. Good morning time. Good evening time. Good afternoon time. Whatever the case may be in your part of the world. Crisscross and wires. What's going on, E-World? Um, yes, and obviously by now you realize I was not able to do my live stream last night. Uh, they did finish working on the internet. And then, shut up, they determined that uh, the guy came and checked out my system, or my, my cable, and uh, figured out that my router is messing up as well. Uh, it's okay for regular internet services, but as far as uh, live streaming, it's, it's not fast enough for some reason or I'm not getting a good enough signal down here. So anyway, I'll make this little quick video uh, on what I wanted to discuss yesterday, which was uh, motor phasing. Reason why I'm talking about this is because I've had a lot of questions. Guys uh, always text me and say, hey, they just switched and upgraded to a new controller. And after they uh, changed controllers, their bike didn't work anymore. They couldn't get their bike to work, all right? So, normally, 95% of the time, that is usually always a motor phasing issue. Even though you've connected your motor phase wise, green to green, blue to blue, yellow to yellow, it does not work. Okay, reason why it does not work is because different manufacturers, when they build their controllers or their motors or whatever, uh, set up their phasing differently and their color combinations may not be uh, the same as other manufacturers. So although you got green to green, blue to blue, and yellow to yellow, it ain't working. And like I said, all you have to do at that point is uh, reverse your motor phase wise. Now, I've gotten to the point where when this happens with me, Wait a minute. Let's see if that stopped my video. No, it didn't. Uh, somebody always calls when uh, I'm making a video and I'm using my phone right now. So, uh, yeah, I've gotten to the point where when I change and swap out controllers and uh, there's an issue, I'm able to... Uh, play around with the phase wires. I've done it enough where as though I don't need any uh, instructional help in figuring out what the proper combination is. Sometimes it's blue to yellow, green to blue, and it, you know, just not straight color to color. Okay? Now, there are charts and diagrams that help you determine what the correct phasing is. Uh, I have one up there. I'm going to uh, post this chart down in the description. But basically, uh, when you hook up your new controller, and it does, sometimes it will be working, just not correctly. Sometimes your motor will be running rough. It will be stuttering or jittery. Or it just won't be a smooth high RPM. That's still... Uh, phase wire issue. Maybe two of, maybe one of them is right and the other two are wrong or reverse. Or you connect it up and it's running smooth and fast just in the reverse direction. That means you need to change the polarity between two of the wires. Normally, uh, well like I said, the colors aren't always the same, but normally you're just switching two wires at that point leaving one the same. If you wire it up and you're getting smooth rotation, but just in reverse. You're going to have to leave one of those wires alone. Because one of them is obviously correct. 
the other two have to be reversed and as soon as you do that that will uh have the motor going forward a lot of controllers have uh automatic phase shifting and uh you can just if that happens and it's running reverse you can just uh change that in the parameters and uh you know in the app or whatever wherever you change uh your features at on that particular control but uh yeah so anyway uh like i said there's this chart uh ebike.com has a chart couple uh places have charts you can use like this one right here and it will tell you whatever the symptoms is what your next step should be so if you initially hook everything up green to green blue to blue yellow to yellow and it's not working or working improperly uh this way it tells you if it's stuck and it's not working at all then switch the wires to this combination uh then if you get noisy rotation you want to switch it to this you know th this chart will help you uh stumble your way through to find the proper phasing that is why it's called uh phase wires you know and like i said all motors and all controllers don't always have phasing set up corresponding to the correct color combination so you have to figure that out a lot of times that is the only issue and i mean that really uh throws a lot of guys off you know when they are setting up their motors and controllers you know if, if this is the first time you experience that you ain't gonna know what to do um as far as the hall sensor wires keep them the same never change the hall sensor wires only the motor phase wires okay so don't uh when you start flipping them around don't change the halls leave them the same but uh yeah that's basically it i wanted to talk about this in a little more detail and take questions on it and everything but that is a real simple fix to a lot of problems you'll have uh when switching out your controller i you i was you know using this controller and this motor for visual um really i need a little test uh center where i can actually demonstrate this to you guys but uh yeah motor phasing makes a big difference in whether or not your bike is working properly and like i said you're going to find that happens a lot of times when you upgrade your controllers and you're scratching your head and you're like i got everything right i got the wires matched up right and it ain't working what the f but yeah that's what it is all right so um yeah that's basically it i'm sorry i can't stay longer and uh get more detailed about this i gotta run to baltimore today uh and um you know hopefully when i get back i'll have a new router and we can do an actual really good q a live stream session all right so uh man i appreciate you guys working with me and hanging in there man and uh i promise you things are going to get back to normal as far as uh actual diy builds on hand and you know me filming it and doing it like that so uh yeah we're gonna work it out all right y'all take it easy take care crisscross and wise um let me see anything else i gotta mention uh yeah that's pretty much it all right y'all peace we out